How's it going guys, Same from Mendeck Outdoors here. Today we're gonna to be doing a crawfish catch clean cook. I'm gonna be going out back to that spillway that you guys saw me do the last video at. I'm planning on catching a few more crawfish than last time. Hey, we actually have some people to try it out with me. We got Mr. Juan over there. Okay, guess here you don't get a trying to catch crawfish. Good thing Bonzel is here. JK, he's not here right now, but he's coming back and then I think he's leaving. So he might be able to try the crawfish, I don't really know. We'll find out in a little bit. But I'm gonna go head over to the spot and I'll see you guys there. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I don't really know if you guys can hear me because of the road and the wind. Anyway, I'm going back down to this little creek and uh, hopefully we can get some. I drove by and I think I saw the spillway ripping pretty hard. I don't know where the crawfish like to hang out. I don't know if they like to hang out in the current or whatever, but we might try the current and uh, maybe see if they're in there or maybe we'll just go in the same spot as last time. I don't really know. So uh, I'll guess we'll figure it out when we get down there, but uh, I'll see you guys there. Oh yeah, the reason why today's video is not a duck hunting video is because well, the season down here ended, and uh, Big Ducks unfortunately is not open yet in South Dakota, but we will be going there shortly, and the Minnesota Duck Opener opens up this weekend. So hopefully, John will be able to get on some ducks when he's up there. So uh, be looking out for a video that John is making, but we made it here to the first spot. The spillway is not ripping as hard as I thought it was going to be. Make sure there's no creepy crawlers hanging around here. Ew! If you know what I'm... Oh, God, it's a bee. Okay, I'm... Okay. Okay, we're just gonna make my way down here. Skirt, skirt. All right, here she is. Oh yeah, I see some bluegills and stuff hanging. Oh, there's a crawfish. You guys see it? I'm gonna go turn on the chesty so I'll see you guys on the GoPro. Well, we got the bag here. Got the good old trap and the bait. We got some Johnsonville Stadium brats that these things have been sitting in the fridge for at least a couple years. I don't know, I'm kidding, not a couple years. They've been sitting in there for a while, so uh, they're no good. We're gonna use them for bait. We got the trap though. All right, unhook it, open this up, take out the rope, simple like that. And uh, we just need some bait. What do you think? We'll throw two in there. We'll throw two. Ooh, these things are, I guess three came out. Okay, that is disgusting. Well. Oh, uh-uh, uh-uh, disgusting. Hands are greasy now, that's just use of grass for a napkin or something. Oh, oh, that is gross. Anyway, get this all cleaned up. So, how this trap works is you have a spring here, which I have stretched out in the last video. Yes, I did not know how to work this. But this is the door you put your bait in, and this is uh, the door that closes and holds the bait. And we're just gonna close that. We're just gonna come up here, hook it, voila. So, can't open now. And uh, hopefully what the crawfish do is, they'll see this little hole. They see the brats, just smell the brats and go right through that square hole. But uh, this is a trap. We just got a pretty big rope here. And uh, we're just gonna, nothing special here. We're just gonna yoss her down. Maybe near the, we'll, we'll do it in the shade. Maybe they wanna hang in the shade. Okay, that did not, all right. She fell. All right, it's good to go. I have all this excess rope here, and uh, we're just gonna take it, thread it up up here. I mean, I don't think it'll go anywhere. It's not much current. Tie her up, she's not gonna go anywhere. Leave the rope. Now we're set, we'll come back in just a little bit. Trap is set and it's ready to rip, and uh, I'm gonna go back up to the car, go back to the house, Maybe edit a little bit, chill there for, I don't know, a couple hours, and we'll come back, see if we have anything. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll get some stuff. I'm thinking, I'm gonna guess we're gonna get, last time we got 10, so I'm gonna guess we're gonna get, oh, I don't know, we're gonna leave the trap out for a little bit longer too, so I'm thinking we're gonna get mm, 20. I'm calling 20 crawfish. Fingers crossed, I'm really hoping so. We're gonna go head home, like I said, and I'll see you guys back at the house. Finally got done editing, and uh, I'm back. It's been a couple hours. Hopefully, we got some stuff. Leave a comment down below how many you think we've got. I, like I said earlier, I think we got 20, hopefully. I don't really know, it's been a few hours. The last time we were here, we caught, what, 12? I think we caught 12 crawfish in the last video. Hopefully, this time we got more. I left it out just a little bit longer, and uh, it's been a few months, so I'm thinking these crawfish have moved in. We're gonna make her pass again. Oh God, look at that large mouth. Did you guys see that? Oh my God. Dude, that thing was a giant. Wow. It was a solid fish, it was like four pounds. Out of this little two foot little puddle creek looking thing. Criminy. Oh, there's some bluegills near it, that's a good sign. 
Maybe we'll get to see one go in. I'm just gonna sit here for a second, watch these bluegills, see if any of them go in. I see some, I see something moving around near the brats. That's a good sign. A lot of bluegills though. Um, maybe we got a couple bluegills, I don't know. Just wait for a minute and uh, I'll see you guys on the GoPro. Like I was saying, I just saw a big bass near it. And now, I see some bluegills. Maybe we'll get a bluegill in there, I don't know. I'm just gonna wait, watch the bluegills, see if any of them go in, and then I'll check the trap. Well, um, it's been a couple minutes since they got here and I didn't see any bluegills going, so we're gonna go ahead and get this untangled and pull up the trap, see if we got anything. I got a good feeling, boys. I got a pretty good feeling. It's a tip, maybe use a smaller rope. Anyway, we're gonna lift this up. Oh wow, she's heavy. Oof, what do we got? Oh, doggy. Woo! I see some crawfish, boys. Yeehoo! Look at there. Oh my. Definitely not 20. But they're big ends, boys. Oh my. Do you guys see that? Look at that one. Straight booing right there. They're marking the hot dogs, boys. There's some daddies in there. Good golly. All right. I don't want to take them out of the trap yet because I don't want my fingers to get kachowed. We got to get the bait out, though. Without getting my hands murked. I didn't go to college, but let me count here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven crawfish boys. That's not bad. Some of them are daddies. Look at that one in the corner. Yee! Good God. This thing's a king daddy. Anyway, I gotta put this back in my bag here. Plastic. I didn't bring anything to put them in. We're just gonna shove them in here and kind of hope for the best. We got the back secured. Little bass and bluegills or whatever are down there. Crawfish. Have a good day. We got eight crawfish boys. Not bad. There's some daddies. Um, the size went, the size quality of them went up, but we didn't get as many as last time, which is all right. We got some big ends. Let me show you guys how to cook them, clean them, whatever you got to do to them, and I'll see you guys back at the house. This kid, you're missing out. Guess how many I got? Got them already? Oh yeah. What did you get? Eight. Eight. Oh yeah. They're big. They're keggers. King daddies. They're king daddies. You're missing out. We'll throw one on John for me. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. See you, Dad. Look at this beautiful construction. Well, as you guys can tell, we finally made it back here to the bird's nest. Austin was just leaving. He's just missing out. Did they really lock the door? Well, they definitely locked the door. Oh. Huh? Oh, is it locked? Bonzo must have locked it. <laughs> Weird. Me. Guess how many I got? Ten? What are you doing? What? I said guess I'm how many. Guessing. Oh, sorry. I didn't know. Um. Six point nine. What, what's the point nine mean? One of the pinchers fell off. Oh, so it's like point nine. Well, I got eight. You're close. Dude, that was really you close. were close. You give that was that was. I I I guess twenty. I guess twenty. Any keggers? Oh, dude, they're beefcakes. Oh, they're giant. Oh, For this little. Oh, I get. I saw five pound bass. Lies. Okay. Yeah. Here at the British nest, I'm gonna get the crawfish out of the bag, and I'll show you guys them. Well, we got the crawdads in here. I got. Fish them out without getting pinched. There's number one. There's number two. Look at this guy. Look at these claws, boys. Eww, that's a daddy. All right, we'll get him in. This one's upside down. Ooh, scary. Ah, don't pinch me, dude. Okay, I gotta hold the thing better. Ah, scary. Yeah. Crawfish are scary, man. I don't like them. I don't like them. Oh, look at that one. That one's cool looking. This one, this one has no pinchers, boys. Look at that. Look at him in there. One little guy left. One little, one little itty bitty guy. He's really rad. We'll get them all nice and juiced up. You guys said we need salt, but I do not have salt. So I think there's enough salt in seasoned salt, right? Same thing. Same thing. All right, get a little water in there. And we're just gonna put some seasoned salt in there. Well, according to you guys, I have to purge them before I eat them or before I clean them. Basically what that means is you put salt in there, but we don't have salt, so we use seasoned salt. I mean, there's salt in there. Basically that makes them throw up or poop out all the nasty stuff in them. I don't really know if that's true or not. Leave a comment down below if you know. But that's what you guys were telling me, so I tried it. And I'm gonna see if they taste better, and then I'm gonna throw them in the pan. Well, they've been sitting in here for some time now, about 15 minutes, I think that's what you guys said. And uh, now it's time to wash them out. So we're just gonna turn on the water and get all that saltiness out of there, and uh, let the water flush. And we'll turn, we'll leave this on for about eh, another 10, 15 minutes. This should be ready to go right after that. So we're just gonna rinse them out like this for about 10 minutes, and I'll uh, see you guys after. Turn that off. These things have been sitting in there for a long time now, and uh, I think they're cleaned out and ready to go. We just got some sausage, some Polish sausage, from the one and only Cardi P from the farm. Shout out to Cardi P for sacrificing itself. 
so we can have this delicious sausage. We got the uh, water boiling. We got it set on high, and uh, we're gonna throw in the sausage with the crawfish. We're gonna let that boil, and I'll see you guys when we throw in the crawfish. Well, as you guys can tell, the water is absolutely ripping. It is boiling really hot. This guy just pinched me. A little stupid thing. Anyway, he's feisty, boys. Ew! Chew! I'm too quick. But, okay, I don't wanna get pinched here, but we're gonna take our crawfish, dump them in the boil, take our sausage, dump it in two. We're gonna come over here. Oh, dirty bird boy. It's gonna take her. We're gonna sprinkle a lot in there. And mix it around. Get it back to that boiling temperature. And uh, we're gonna let them sit in there for a while. They've been boiling for 10 to 15 minutes now. And uh, they're about done. We're gonna turn the heat off and let them simmer here for about 10, 10 more minutes. And then we'll pull them off and we'll eat them. We got the lovely crawfish and uh, we got John here. We got butter, because you guys were recommending butter. So we got butter this time. And uh, I'm thinking it's going to taste like crab, I don't really know. Sure, well, you've had it before. I know, but I'm saying like with butter. Oh, true. It could be different. This, I'll say right now, this uh, Sam right now, he's taking my crogenity. Well, we're going to go in with the sausage first, so uh, cheers, boys. Fire. Cardi B, fire. Okay, this is good. Then we got to go with the crawfish. So you got to show me how to do this, because I don't know how to do this. Okay, I'll go with the small one, you get the big one. Okay. Okay, I'll medium sized one. So, what you guys do is you take the tail, right? You twist, you twist it. I feel like there's gotta be a better way to take the shell off. Yeah, I don't know. If you guys know how to take off the shell, this is only my second time eating crawfish, so I'm not a pro at it by any means, I'm just going off of what people are telling me. So if you guys do know, leave a comment down below. I'd greatly appreciate it if you did, because John and I are struggling right now. But this does look juicy. This little tail meat looking thing, I don't know. Looks like shrimp, Look, or crab, I don't know. Looks like a lobster, dude. Lobster, really. Looks like a lobster. Oh god, here. So th this is all good, right? Yeah, this is that's all good. So we're just gonna dip in some butter. Hold on, let's, look at this thing. Looks, I don't know if you guys can see that. It looks unreal, though. I didn't mind the butter. Either. All right, I'll do butter. All right, cheers, boys. Tastes like crab. Crab or lobster. Yeah, that's a good. crustacean. That's good, dude. So, we going for it. can know. you eat the the pinchers though? I mean, I, I think you can, but these little pinchers are. I don't think you can eat these little pinchers. They're kind of small, right? Yeah. You can suck on them or something. No. I can't seem to get that. It just sucks. There's not about that much meat. I know. In them. I wish there was more meat, meat in these. Yeah. Like, it's just a long process to get, the like, meat. such little food, too. Yeah. I could have sworn I've seen it in movies where, like, they suck on something and get meat out. Yeah, I see that, too. Is that, are they, is that these? Yeah, they're these. I don't know. I how do they, where, where do they suck? How do they do this? I don't know. That's why I need you guys to comment down below. Because I don't know how to eat crawfish. Cheers, boys. Mmm. Doozy by is good. Move, yeah, man. I know. Now, if we had, like, potato, too. Oh, yeah, we need to do an actual boil where you have corn and potato. Because that's how they do it down south, and I think we should do it. Oh, I can't catch enough of these little things for it. Okay, so this is what I was thinking, guys. Is there's an Asian market downtown, and uh, I'm thinking maybe we go downtown, buy a crawfish. I was looking it up. You can buy crawfish. It's only $5 a pound. I think a pound is a lot of crawfish, ain't it? Like, I think so. 30, 40 crawfish, probably? Well, sure I'm probably 30. Like, I don't 30. Know. But, this is what I'm thinking, we go down there, get a couple pounds, have a big boil with Flare Daddy and Bonzel and everyone, and throw in, we'll just go completely off with it. We'll sausage, sausage, sausage prom, corn, corn, potatoes. potatoes. And then we'll just feast. And like, have you seen it in the movies where they, they lay out the, mm -hmm. the, on the table? They, they lay out, they lay out the newspaper, so we'll lay out a newspaper, and then Slayman will come in with like the big boil oh, pot yeah. and just go whoosh. I think, I think we should do that. that. I think that's good. So if you guys want to see that, leave a comment down below. That was good, dude. Uh, like, I'm a huge seafood guy, so like, this was probably one of my more favorite catch and cooks that you've done. Oh, really? Just saying. Wow. Yeah. That says a lot. See, I wish Bonzo was here, was here to try it, because I feel like you would like this. What do you uh, think? You would love it. So if you guys like the trapping videos or whatnot, um, just leave a comment down below, and I'll try and get more out. As you guys already know, 
duck hunting season is on its way up in South Dakota. So we'll be going up there. We'll be filming a lot of videos up there. And uh, season down here shortly will be opening up too. So we'll be getting those videos out as well. So I hope you guys are enjoying the videos that we're posting. And uh, if you guys have any video suggestions, leave a comment down below. And we'll catch you guys on the next one.